Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gabe with the Thunder Fan TV. Back at you on the video, man. Hey, listen, man, the Eagles steamroll. I mean, steamroll the 49ers 31 to 7. But we gotta be honest here. Obviously, um, Brock Purdy's injury looms large. Uh, Josh Johnson comes in the game, he gets a concussion. So, the 49ers are down to no one at quarterback because by the end of the game, Brock Purdy can't physically throw the football. Um, but look, I want to give all credit to the Eagles, but because, listen, that dominant run game continued to be dominant versus the San Francisco defense that knew it was coming versus the San Francisco defense that has been top one, two defenses in the league. This is a good, good defense on that, on that side of the football. Didn't matter. The Eagles continued to run the ball, right? Um, obviously, their defensive line got after. The defensive line is part of the reason that, you know, the injury to Brock Purdy even happened in the first place. So the Eagles, what got them there? One in the game as well. Run game, dominant defensive line. And that's beautiful, man. The Eagles really built a powerhouse football team. And, um, you know, you got can't nothing but give them props and give them credit. So about the game itself, uh, I mean, if you look at the numbers, Jalen Hurts only had to throw for 120 yards. Like I said, the ground game was, was working pretty well. You know, you had, um, let's see here. They had 148 yards on the ground to the 49ers, 81 and then the passing yards, 49 only had 83 passing yards, you know. And it's hard to judge that just because of the injuries that happened on the other side of the ball, you know. So, um, but like I said, I can't use that to take away anything from the Eagles. The Eagles are a phenomenal football team. And what they've done has been quite impressive, to be quite honest with you. Um, they kind of had control of this game from the start. Miles, Miles Sanders scored a touchdown in the first quarter. Bob Purdy gets injured and... We got to give some blame to Kyle Shanahan here. Listen, I'm a Ravens fan, right? Anybody who watched the channel, they probably know that regularly, right? So, he, Brock Purdy got injured the same way Lamar Jackson got injured, bro. They left a dominant defensive lineman one-on-one -on -one, uh, against the tight end. Not even George Kittle, their backup tight end. So, Hassan Reddick gets one-on-one -on -one with the backup tight end, and it's no contest. It's easy. He hits Brock Purdy's arm. You know, it looks like it's probably going to be a fumble, maybe not. But at the end of the day, it ends up getting Brock Purdy injured. So that's a that's bad alignment by, by, by Kyle Shanahan right there. It is. It's just, you know, he's a mastermind, play call, and things like that. But you got to call it out when it does when something went wrong that was of your doing. You got, got to be honest with that. So uh, that, that changes the entire game. Uh, I thought the 49ers defense, though, even though, like I said, the Eagles ran the ball and things like that. That first half, really up until the third quarter, it was nothing easy for the 49. I mean, nothing easy for the Eagles offense. Jalen Hurts looked uncomfortable at times in the pocket throwing the football. He was kind of bouncing around. He was making, looking at one, two, and then he was ready to get out of there. You know, so, because that 49ers D-line is nothing to play with as well. They were getting after it, so they were ready to go. Um, it's unfortunate because it's like this could have been a really, really great defensive battle. A really kind of throwback football game where it's running the ball. Pass it a couple of times to your playmakers, but who's gonna come out on top and makes the you know the fewest mistakes? Um, but that's not just, that's not what happened. So, uh, and speaking of mistakes, right? The 49ers had a whole slew of penalties. Um, if I'm looking at the penalty count, right? I believe the penalty count was 11 penalties for the 49ers, four for the Eagles. And a lot of times these 49ers, man, they were they were trying to make a play, bro. They were trying to make a play. Uh, a couple of uh, maybe ticky tag and legal contacts and stuff like that, but. They had a rough in the punter play where it's clearly they're trying to block the punt because they know they need a spark. You feel me? So um, it almost feels like we kind of got robbed of a championship game. But at the end of the day, I, hey, listen, uh, I did a little YouTube short thing and I, I picked the Eagles to win just because of I had more faith in Jalen Hurst than Brock Purdy. Obviously, that's not what happened in this game. You know what I mean? You know, Brock Purdy can, really didn't can show anything because he got hurt. But um, I still did pick the Eagles to win this game and I'm not surprised that they did it. Uh, the Eagles turn around. I'm not gonna say turn around because they were a good team last year. I believe they won the wild card game, played the Buccaneers, uh, but they were clearly outmatching that game. Uh, Jalen Hurst wasn't ready, but he took he took the time this offseason, got better. This offense has been pr primarily built around him, and uh, it's really helped him flourish. And this is another thing I like the, what the Eagles did. They drafted Devonte uh, Devonta Smith, excuse me, and they didn't just say, "Hey, look, he's a good young receiver. He had a great rookie year." We're going to let him sleep into, uh, to wide receiver one, and we'll just add little pieces. No. They traded their first-round pick and went and got a dog. And went and got A.J. Brown and then signed him immediately. Locked up a, a 1A, 1B tandem for the future. That's beautiful by the Eagles. Then they go out here and you assign Hassan Reddick, who has a big game. Right? 
early on in the season or kind of midway through the season, the Eagles couldn't stop the run. What did they do? They get Linval Joseph. They get Indominic and Sue. Like, at every turn this season, even before the season started, the Eagles were making moves to get themselves to this point right now, and that's the Super Bowl. So it's nothing but uh, respect for the Eagles, how they built this team, how they've um, actually uh, assembled their roster, right? Now, the big thing for them the Owls is, excuse me, since Jalen Hurts was a second-round pick, it's time for him to get paid. This is year three. You know, he doesn't have that fifth-year option like first-round quarterbacks do. So it's it's time for Jalen Hurts to get paid. So uh, we'll see what happens with that and how they, how they, they construct their roster after that. But, um, you know, it was a great game by them, man. You know, watching that game in the fourth quarter was crazy. <laughs> the 49ers are literally uh, trying to do trick plays. McCaffrey line, lined up in the Wildcat some. Um, it was 28-7, start the fourth quarter. And they run, they run the ball four straight times because Brock Purdy literally can't extend his arm. Like, it's crazy. I mean, at that at that point, I think they said that the emergency quarterback would have been jo uh, Kyle Juszczyk. They should have put him in. Let him throw a couple passes, you know. It couldn't have got any worse at that point, uh, to be quite honest. And then, obviously, the big thing at the end of the game was the fight. Uh, looked like a couple of guys had locked up with Debo Samuel. And uh, Trent Williams, uh, he came over there. He saw that. He uh, he tossed Kevon Wiles out the club. And then they both end up getting tossed from the game. Now, hopefully the Eagles, nobody came off the sideline. Because I would hate to see guys get suspended for the Super Bowl because of guys coming off the sideline. I would hate to see something like that happen to them. So, hopefully nothing like that happens. But uh, Trent Williams is not the guy you want to mess with. He's proven multiple times he will fight anyone. I mean, who remembers when he had... Um, Really, really punched Richard Sherman <laughs> some some years ago when he was still on the uh, you know on Washington. So, but anyway, man, this this game was a, a, a had a potential to be a good one. Two great defenses going at it. Two teams full of offensive playmakers, but the injury changed the entire game. But like I said, that takes nothing away from the Eagles. They built an incredible roster. They had a young quarterback who's ascending, who's an MVP candidate. To me, he's second to Patrick Mahomes in terms of that MVP race. Um, so nothing against them, man, you know, beautiful season and, you know, we'll see what they do in the Super Bowl, man. Uh, but like I said, Eagles 31, 49 to 7. And that's my thoughts on the game, man. It's your boy Gary, just on Fan TV. I'm out.